This is a perfume challenge issued by my perfume pen pal, Dan Rolleri. So what he did was he sent me a sample of a perfume that has a reputation for being the most disgusting, revolting smelling perfume in the world. Um, some people actually think it's a masterpiece, but it does have quite the reputation. It's called Secretion Magnifique. Magnificent secretions. And the first little tip off to what it might smell like is the artwork that it comes with, which is a, um, it's a cartoon of, how shall I put this? A baloney pony. It's uh, gushing forth with the um, secretion. And you know, just cause it's a cartoon doesn't make it cute. And in fact, um, it looks like a crying penis which isn't a surprise because in this cartoon, it's not attached to anything. So it could be a Lorena Bobbitt situation. And that is not a happy scenario. Uh, the perfumer behind Secretion Magnifique is Antoine Lee and the company um, that made it is Etat Libre d'Orange. And they do a lot of um, very uh, cheeky slash challenging fragrances with um, uh, frisky names names that make you go, oh, Mrs. that shouldn't be allowed. So the, the whoop behind Magnificent Secretions is that it is comprised of elements that call forth the smell of sweat, sperm, blood, saliva, and milk. So, um, you know, if you have an active social life, you already have a ready supply of all of those, but, um, and I don't know why pee and poo aren't included. I guess they're not magnificent enough. So um, I'm just gonna give it a shot here. Um, I've never tried this before. <laughs> I'm gonna um, just tough it out and I'm gonna report from the trenches. Uh, I don't even want it to touch anything that I'm wearing, but I am gonna actually put it on my skin. So we're gonna see what happens here. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Magnificent secretions. Just just putting it on. I can't smell it yet. I'm not breathing in. I'm just talking. I'll be really disappointed if this smells nice because I, I do actually want it to smell disgusting. <laughs> okay, I'm getting, I'm getting something. Look how I'm just, I'm just layering it on. It's just like smearing peanut butter on a piece of toast for a squirrel. It does. Okay, I'm getting a smell now. It's not bad. It's not too bad. Okay, let me, I'm going, <laughs> look how I'm just delaying having to smell myself by just applying, applying it over and over again. Here I go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna smell it. Um. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> That's horrifying. <laughs> I can't believe somebody made that on purpose. Oh, it's making my it's making my eyes water. That is hard. Okay, let me try and tell you what I'm smelling. <laughs> oh, that is really bad. Okay, it's really metallic. It's um it's metallic. It's uh it smells like a crime scene is what it smells like. There should be police tape around this right now, around, around my little chair. Oh no, why, why? Um, it's just metallic. It's metallic and milky and, oh, that is so disgusting. I, um, I, I'm really needing a thesaurus right now or at least a new brain because the one that's currently in my noggin is ruined by this. It's metallic, it's, um, it's starting to smell bloody. It smells milky. Um, there's no pee or poo in there. That, if, if it had those elements in there, that would be an improvement to what I'm smelling right now. Um, it smells like, it just smells like a crime scene and industrial waste, um, maybe a day out at Chernobyl. Um, nothing rotting. Oh no, it, it, it's sort of rotting. It's a little bit like dead leaves. Now I'm getting into it. Like, yeah, what is this foul odor? Oh, I'm really gonna have to go have a silkwood shower after this. Oh, I, 
Yeah, it's disgusting. It's starting to smell. Um, it's rancid. It's not sour. It's mostly that blood. It's mostly that blood and the... <laughs> I almost want to put it on again for that first horrible shock, but I assure you, I won't. What? No, don't, don't, don't wear this. I'm just saying stop. Well, maybe just smell it for fun. Oh, that is some sick kind of fun. You crazy people at Etat Libre d'Orange. That was a horrifying perfume challenge. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Hi, I'm back. I've had therapy. I had lobotomy too and a nap. And it didn't work because um, I'm still racked with the horror of Secretion Magnifique. Although I did have a little consultation with my husband and he thinks I'm making a big old nimini pimini fuss over nothing because he thinks it just smells like, just kind of like um, crabbing, crabbing in Chesapeake Bay, which sounds very outdoorsy and festive and fun. But I would, I would submit that this is, if there's any crabbing going on, those crabs are nuclear and they've been living in industrial waste that's gushing from some sort of factory that's filled with disease because um, this is not your date night fragrance. That's all I'm saying. Um, any secretions uh, that you want to ensue in such a scenario, could you please provide those on your own? Uh, because this is not anything you really want to be smelling like, I think. If you want to have a closer look at the artwork that comes with Secretion Magnifique, you can hot foot it over to my blog where I'll have the whole thing up in living color. The crying penis. Now I know why it's crying. I'm Katie Puckrick and I really smell. Oh yeah. <laughs> Number five.